I'm Callan Hobman. Here's a look at what we're following on this Friday. The Tehachapi woman who killed her ex-boyfriend back in 2019 has accepted a plea on the last remaining charge against her in this case. It will not result in any further prison time. In October, a jury found Wendy Howard not guilty of first-degree murder, second-degree murder, voluntary manslaughter, voluntary self-defense, and involuntary manslaughter. But they could not reach a unanimous decision on the charge of voluntary manslaughter in the heat of passion. Defense attorney Tony Lidget motioned to dismiss the case, but it was denied, causing Howard to enter an Alford plea. It's a method for a defendant to technically plead guilty while personally professing innocence towards the charge. Howard is now free after being sentenced to time served and a year of probation. If the Judge Rodriguez have actually granted her motion, and that would be motion to deny the people from trying the case again for double jeopardy purposes. If the judge had granted that motion, she never could have even been in a position to accept a plea because the case would have been completely over. But District Attorney Cynthia Zimmer released a statement reading in part, quote, Wendy Howard and her daughters have many rights as the victims of crime, but those rights do not include a license for Wendy Howard to kill. Regardless of how wronged a person feels or how abhorrent the, con the conduct of another is, the law does not empower individuals to make themselves the judge, jury, and executioner of those who are perceived to have wronged them. Supporters of Wendy Howard tell 23ABC that regardless of the plea, they're happy the situation is now behind Howard. Well, let's switch gears now and bring in Ava Kirshner. She's in for Brian Gallo on our Friday. She's got our weather forecast. Good morning, everybody. You might have woken up to some raindrops on that windshield this morning. We do have lingering rain chances, but they shouldn't really affect us throughout your day today here in Bakersfield. Getting into those 60s by midday, getting close to 70 degrees, and then finally hitting that 70 degree mark by 6 p.m. As we head throughout the rest of those seven days, again, 70 today, 70 tomorrow, a lingering 10% chance of rain. Again, this will mostly affect us overnight into early mornings. 75 on Sunday and a little bit of a warm up there as we head towards Thursday, 80 degrees in the valley. As for our mountain communities, we're tracking 61 today for Lake Isabella, 53 to Hatchby and 51 in Fraser Park. 60s this weekend for Lake Isabella and mid 50s for Tehachapi and Fraser Park. Stay cool while we're still in those cooler temperatures for the weekend. That'll do it for this update. Have a great day.